Welcome to Oryx Must Die 3, recently released on PC, and a year later from its release on, in, on Stadia, actually. Uh, and 10 years after the initial release of Oryx Must Die 1, uh, 10 years ago, back in 2011. Uh, so, this is a tower defense title. This is the goal where they want to go, this is where the Oryx want to go, and they spawn at doors, like this one over here. It is a typical tower defense game. You are a third person with plenty of skills and abilities. You lay everything out yourself. You go through, lay a bunch of flippy traps. You could sell them in between, get all of your money back, and that's how you do it. Now, it's telling me right now that this door is going to have mobs coming out of it, but not this one over here. Now, you can see upper right corner, I'm at wave four of seven. So I, what I'm doing here is I'm starting kind of in the middle because I want to show you guys Because uh, start, starting is kind of slow. It's like StarCraft or any RTS. So starting is kind of slow. You're, just, you're, you're gonna start getting guys and getting them, you know, getting them kicked out into the drink or whatever uh, And it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you know, it's, 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 I'd rather jump right into the action. Let me go ahead and do this here uh, Let me see. I'll do you and then I'll do you and then I'll do this and then I will do Ooh, is that enough room? I wonder if that's enough room let me scooch these guys a little bit. There you go. See how easy this is? See how easy this is? Easy peasy. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Cool. This is going to be pretty easy to get these guys out. Uh, I'm going to explain more about the game as we get into it and start playing it. But what I want to do is, uh, you know, play it. <laughs> so, uh, funny, the last time I played uh, Oryx Must Die was Oryx Must Die 2. And it was with Total Biscuit, actually. So it was a long time ago. There's actually there's a video floating around somewhere where him and I were playing it. He hit me up and he was like, um, uh, he was like, uh, hey B, I heard you played uh, Orcs Must Die One a lot. Do you want to play this game co-op and record it? And I was like, sure, dude. <laughs> I was like, absolutely. And so you know, he, we get we. I knew a little bit about the title. Uh, let's go and start. You see these guys coming out here. Lots of talking here. Lots of dialogue. I've turned off the majority of the dialogue, but there's still some that'll pop up. Um, in the video, he, he he presents me as the uh, as the uh, I guess the expert in the Orcs Must Die franchise, <laughs> and I barely knew what any of the things did because I hadn't played the game that much. <laughs> Orcs Must Die too, but um, it is it is a it's it's a fond memory game for me for sure um, because it is you know one because of that experience and two because it's just a fun game and I also hung out with the Robot Entertainment guys a long time ago. Uh, including Pez Radar, uh, who some of you guys know works on the Diablo team, uh, Diablo Immortal team actually. So those guys are all over the place now. So this this game this game is you know uh, in terms of my industry work, this game definitely holds a special place in my heart. Um, now in terms of like what makes this game different from Orcs Must Die One, Orcs Must Die uh, Two, I'll tell you right now like it's it's if you don't have Orcs Must Die One or Two, uh, I would say just get. Just get those two. It, you could get both of them for, I think, less than the price you could buy this one. <laughs> it's like $15 for Orcs Must Die 2 and, uh, and $10 for uh, OMD 1. And so, yeah, just buy both of those and you get tons and tons of content. It's a really good game. Both of them are really good games. Uh, but this game just basically updates the graphics. It adds some... Oh, oh okay. Just got to check. Uh, these guys break into smaller dudes. It adds a few... Uh, interesting new mechanics and such there's the new uh uh like big big battle uh war campaign war campaign i think uh we'll do some of that in a second that's why i'm starting in the middle of this one because then i'm gonna start in the middle of a next of the next one where there's a lot more dudes uh, and show you some of the bigger traps that they've added that stuff's pretty cool um uh, let me see so now i'm gonna have two i have to deal with two and i have 3741 so this is doing an okay job of killing uh but i feel like i could do better and this whole thing right here is useless because if this doesn't take care of them then then that's not gonna do shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, uh, let me see, I'm gonna put some pushers. I don't have any wall anything except for pushers. Just kind of keep them in the mix here. That might be useful. I mean, that definitely will be useful. Just a couple of those, I think. And then, uh, let me see. God, man, I wanna keep these guys corralled. I have kind of a bad setup right now. So I think what I should do is we'll put some of these here and just try to keep them in this you know, in this ecosystem. <laughs> Let's see. One there. Good. And then one here. Good. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably the best we could do right now. Alright, so let's go over here. And I gotta deal with these guys. So, let's see. Their path is pretty short. 
I can't direct them over to this side because there's a gap here. Sometimes I'll try to funnel them down. If you play any tower defense game, you've probably done the same thing. So what I'll do is, because it's easy access for me to get back and forth to this area, I'm going to start killing them right when they walk out. Best way to do that is... Let me see. Cheaply? Yeesh, man. Boy, I really did bring a lot of good stuff here. I have a really bad loadout for this. This is going to be actually pretty freaking hard. I'm so used to playing I've been playing this co-op for the last... Um, Probably like six or seven hours we completed the entire co-op co campaign this is actually one of the missions on the campaign don't worry there's no spoilers here i turned all the dialogue off um oh this is gonna be rough dudes oh my gosh this is gonna be really rough i think i gotta do this a little bit differently let me see i gotta funnel these dudes um you know what though if i do this that's actually much better <laughs> this is actually much better and then, let's see, conservatively, I can get away with probably here. Oh, I guess I could just do that one, so I'll put it in the middle or something. No, no, I gotta, I gotta prep for the, for when I get the next, uh, next, there's some money in. Okay, wow, this is gonna be really tough. Uh, let me actually go over here and sell some of these jump pads and bring it back. But yeah, I've been playing this thing co-op, uh, with a friend of mine. And, uh, let me tell you, that's the way to play. Like, you could play this single player, and it's actually kind of fun. Just kind of get up here and just, you know, just... So let's just play a couple rounds, um, or a round because the par and also all the setup and everything can take so long. Um, but it is definitely a lot more fun to play with somebody else because then you can go and start this thing. Then you can uh, 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 spec more off of each other. Like my buddy would spec into archers, and I'll spec into you know something else related to archers, or that can actually help complement them. Uh, so you see the upper right corner of the mini map it looks like this. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, showing that there's guys coming in this door here. Obviously, we'll take care of them, and then we'll turn around and run to the other side and gather those dudes up. Okay, they're gonna get cleaned up here. I'm gonna leave them alone for a minute. Oh, that should, I thought that, I thought it'd be coming through by now, but I guess not. So if there's a red X on it, that means they're going to be putting dudes out. Usually they'll come out about now, but I guess this one's going to take a minute. Um, we have an ogre coming. Does that guy just get knocked out? You got to be careful with that. Look at that. That's a bad, that's bad design right there. But I got to keep them in this in this ecosystem here. Okay, the guys are coming through the other side. You guys just... There we go. Freeze. Let's see. Where's the other side? Of course I did that to make it quick, and now I'm all over the place. <laughs> oh! Let's go ahead and push these guys back. If you played Ultimate Die 2, you recognize some of these abilities that I'm using from that game. The wind tunnel, the wind tool, or the wind uh, utility. You can get headshots on these dudes. Although I feel like the headshot hitbox is pretty small. I feel like it was much bigger before. Uh oh, free this guy. Take more damage from Frozen. Clean that up. Let me see. Other side is still getting cleaned up. Awesome. The arrow that was directed towards me. Yep. Here, the archer. Nope. So you can see on my bar at the bottom there, I'm swapping back and forth to different utilities so I could use that in order to fight these dudes. So, oh, that guy just got tossed. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, he died on the on the thing. Great. Okay, it's just these guys. Um, so I'm just basically just swapping in between my different uh, tools as I need them. So I have the wind tool, blow those guys out of here. I got my frost tool, give him a freeze, give him another freeze, get some headshots in, extra damage. That guy is messing me up. You can see the arrows there. Freeze them. You get used to just hot swapping real quick. Just activate ability, go back. Uh, I have a mana regeneration tool. I have a health tool that I could use as well. Okay, just freeze that guy. The ice will take care of him. Or the thing. Oh, come on. One of these guys got to drop a um, a health pot, please. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Never mind. They can't hurt me. Uh, my health is back. Um. Let me see. Go over here. What are we gonna do here? Yeah, so anyways, I I have a bad loadout. <laughs> like, just in general, bad loadout. We may actually just fail this, and that's fine, because then I'll, I'll cut and show you guys all the setup and everything, and all the uh, uh, um, uh, upgrades. You can do traps and all the traps. There's a ton of traps. Like, they didn't, they didn't spare any expense when it comes to that. Let me see. Um, I kind of want to funnel them down a little bit, but not right there. Maybe, like... Hmm. I wonder if this is actually just good, just to keep them... In here, maybe get another one up here. This isn't a bad setup. Like it just, I just gotta get them back into this mix or, or slow them down or whatever. God damn, I broke already. Dang. 
You see, I think I'll probably get away with that one here. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'll do. This should be okay. It's gonna be rough. Coming on both sides here. Uh, okay, let's go. I uh, just keep going through things by part time up right corner. Uh, that's you basically get a bonus skull for uh, uh for completing. You basically think about like five stars, like you're up to five stars. Your fifth star is gonna be your or the last star you get is gonna be your uh time. So if you if you get under par, you're guaranteed at least one. <laughs> at least one. Um, as you start to lose health on uh, upper uh, right the upper middle um top of the screen there, that is where your health. Uh, that your nexus health so you don't want that guys to get through uh, because every guy that gets through Counts as one every big guy. I think counts as two These elementals I hate these little things the little kobolds too. Okay, those let's take care of them clean them up Nobody's come through yet though. So maybe you don't have to worry about this. Look at that That's really good. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ah you get out of here I was not expecting to be that good Wave six to seven. We may actually finish this uh, if if this is anything to indicate what the next level, next wave is going to be like. This is pretty reasonable. Oh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you come here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I should open my fucking mouth. There you go. How about you guys join them over there? <laughs> <laughs> Did I get any of them in? Oh god. These freaking fat orcs. Oh, hallelujah, this works though. Uh 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 <laughs> It's not gonna work on that guy though. These little guys it does. Break those big guys up. There you go. Beautiful. Woo woo woo! Alright, four thousand. We're doing really well. I think I could probably just uh uh, let me see. Let's just go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put because this this will push them over. Will it push them over? Hmm. Maybe I should put another one of these here. Oh, can I not? Let me see. Oh, because rotated wrong. You know what I'm saying? Just another extra, just a little extra umph. The little kicks, little umph. I think that's good. That's all we're gonna put there. Now let's go over here. This this area was troublesome. Um, I think uh, maybe more more tiles. Uh, I'd like to maybe to see how much do I have. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and redo this real quick. I love how easy it is. How quickly you can just go through and just change things out. It's like Fortnite. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> but I mean, hey man, it works. It's clean. It's fast. Get everything laid out super fast. I love it. Let me see. Should we put a split here? Let's go to. Maybe, yeah, we'll direct them some. It's gonna give them less coverage overall, but we can... Oops, uh, that's my secondary attack, by the way. I keep on accidentally triggering that. Here we go. Let me see. I don't want to weave them back through here. Do I? Nah, because I have plenty of room over here. It doesn't matter if I weave them here on the other side. So, let's see. Boom. Boom. Put another one here. Beautiful. Oh, that's loss of death. That's pain, agony. All the way down. I love it. Here we go. So let's see. So let's, how much is it going to cost me? We'll do every two. Because they have an... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so expensive. Um, Let me see. One, two. Okay. You know what? Maybe we don't need this guy over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll get me two more. Oh, God. Just shy of two. It's fine. Put uh, one here. Okay. Is it lined up? Good. Let's do it. Here we go. Last one. Last one, bring it. Where are they coming from? This side first. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so first we break these things up. They don't like the ice, so we'll just use that. Get them all small. Then we can toss them around if we need to. <laughs> we should help, though. Once we get money, we'll lay down another. We definitely need more slowing tiles over here, more tar tiles. What's great about uh, some of these tiles, too, is that when you spec them, and we'll talk about this when we go into the specking stage of this video, um, but when you go to spec things, you can uh, get some synergy between things. And just this, I think this is Arcs of Die 1 and 2 as well, um, but just for the unfamiliar. So you can change, uh, let's say, a tar trap to also do more damage when something is on fire, right? 
which is kind of rad. Oh my gosh, my aim. Aim so bad. Aim so bad. Let's go over here. Oh, this is doing well. Oh, his health right there. Finally. I'm in practice mode, by the way, so this is... This is... Very easy. <laughs> this is very easy. Now, there are difficulty modes. It's, it's, it's kicked down here for demonstration purposes. Uh, I beat it on... Uh, Oh, 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 they're going through the barricade. We'll be careful. There are sappers and all that stuff, so we gotta be careful. Oh, they're getting stuck. Big guys. They're getting knocked all over the place, probably getting stuck. Uh, let me see. You stay... You guys stay over there for a second. Let's go and get one of these. It's the last... It's the last mission, so we could just kind of put things wherever they fit. Yeah, see, see. There you go. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. You guys can hang out there for a second. But you guys... No, 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 no. I got, I'm, I'm at 100% right now on apprentice mode. Don't embarrass me like that. We're just gonna there we go. These little shits. These little shits. Dang it. Good, 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 good. Boop. Is that it? Oh, shit. Oh, there's a lot of them. I can freeze them both. I can break these guys down. I can blow them back here. Let's go and activate this. It'll give me some mana back here. Oops. You, you, and then blow. Blow, 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 blow. There we go. They're entering the rift. Oh, God. Oh, so close to saving that. So close to saving that. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. No. No. Oh, so close to saving that, too, from across the freaking room. Dang. All right. Was one of you guys the last one. They keep on switching sides here. There we go. Jeez, man. All right, let's take a look at some of the upgrades and all that stuff. That was terrible. See, so look at that. Now I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm going to lose my parts. We three, three skulls. I lost my part time, uh, you know, because of I was I was showing you guys stuff. Uh, but I got some bonus skulls anyways. What's nice about this is that uh, as you complete maps, you can go back. You can go back and, um, and do older maps. Like, I've already done that map. So... Uh, going back now, it's 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 not necessarily easier. Uh, I'll just go and quit to the uh, thing. It's not necessarily easier. Um, it is uh, 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 um, because I was playing a duo before. I was playing co-op, so co-op made that a whole lot easier. <laughs> I would say the Apprentice single player feels like co-op multiplayer like co-op. Uh, so uh, co-op normal normal uh, difficulty. So I'll show you here. War Mage, the intended difficulty, uh, and then Rift Lord. Enemies are stronger. Less time between waves. Orcs now carry shields. Rift points are cut in half. Oh god! You can invite people, um, or host game or find a game. Cool, 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 cool. I'm not looking to do any multiplayer stuff because you know what? You know, after you play the campaign with a friend, you're end up playing it by yourself anyways, uh, and just basically farming skulls. Just farm a ton of skulls and turn around and spend them on stuff. So this is where you're gonna be spending these things. Uh, the beauty. The beauty of this is if I click this button right here, I will get all of my skull backs, skull backs, skulls back, so I can uh, respec however I want. So, like for example, if I go into this decoy, well, I'm sorry. Um, then if I go into the decoy, uh, I refund from here. It refunds the item upgrade. So I'm not going to use a decoy when I'm playing. Well, I don't have any I don't reason to use a decoy right now. So I'll refund that and I'll get back some of the skulls. There are 27 skulls. Um, let me see. Barricade. I love my barricade setup. I check this out. I could choose. I chose barricades block two spaces, increase costs. So it costs a little bit more. I think they cost. It'll tell you on here, which would be nice. Uh, but I think they, they cost um, 800 normally after you reduce the cost, I think. Uh, and then the barricade that takes two spaces is like 1100. So it's actually kind of a deal, right? I don't know if those numbers are correct, but I definitely know it's a deal. It's not it's not like double the price or anything. However, if you know you're going to be dealing with a lot of sappers or something, uh, then you can go to reduce collateral damage taken. Now, what if you're tight on skulls? Well, no problem. Refund item upgrades. And then what you'll do is you go and you click through these, and then you'll choose one of these that you want to upgrade. Right? So there you go. So now I save seven, six skulls. Um, and I have 33 now. You see what I'm saying? So that way I don't have to... So you don't... When you go in here, if you have both unlocked, you don't have to, like, switch back and forth. If you really need skulls, you could refund... And then just spend on the one you want. I want to get that one. And then you could go from there. Now, in order to get these unique upgrades unlocked, you have to place. Like this one says, place 15 barricades. If I go to another one, bake of archers, deal 5,000 damage. If I go to bowling thing, deal 10,000 damage. Um, let me see. Even your weapons. Sorry, whoops. Even your 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 weapons. The crossbow. Headshot enemies 100 times. Um, 
Improved firing accuracy, headshot trigger explosion, damaging energy, so, or other enemies. Um, I've only played this hero. Uh, I've only, I have not played any other heroes. By completing the campaign, I have unlocked all of these heroes. Um, how funny, it's like, it's like the old <laughs> sprite. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> That was really weird. I thought, I thought they were actually intentionally showing his old sprite. What a weird little bug. Um, so yeah, you could go through and play. Uh, Retired Max and Gabriela are the. That's a sorceress from the orc, from Orcs of Sight too. Uh, there are there is a single player campaign, um, and it is uh, uh, it, it is corny. You know, like I mean, it's very sassy, and, and uh, there's a lot of like snark and everything. It feels kind of like an Evil Dead. Uh, like scripts, <laughs> um, but it's uh, but you know it's 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 okay. You know I I I, I like completed the campaign. I'm not gonna have it on for every time I go through. I, th I heard it once. I'm good. Um, let me see. But over here in the heroes, though, if you go click on Egan, you can choose Gabriella, Kelsey. This Kelsey is the newest. So these are the two characters you start off with. You do co-op. You can choose between these two, and then you end up playing these two um, as you as you. Uh, go through. I'm gonna kind of give away some of the story, but who cares about story? It's power defense. Um, here's a bunch of trinkets here. You can see I can spend money to unlock or spend skulls in order to unlock other ones. Uh, I have my my mana rage trinket, which I love this thing. It increases max mana. Um, I don't use this as often as I should though, especially in that last move. Jesus, sorry. Um, you see, activate trinket nine times. The healing trinket. Uh, I also should have that, but you only have so many rooms, so much room on your bar. You can't just throw everything on the wind belt. This thing right here. You know what? Oh, I should definitely. Because I use this thing a lot. This should be maxed out. Reduce mana cost even more. It's already pretty cheap, you know, to use. Uh, but yeah, increase number four. Enemy stone by secondary attack. Explode. Let's just do knockback force. There we go. That way I can push those big dudes around. Jesus. Uh, magic longbow. Uh, see, primary attack bleeds. Enemies hit. Secondary fire burst in a straight line. This is the thing I normally use. Um... And, and so on and so forth. I mean, like I said, tons of traps to unlock a bunch, some iconic ones, like for example, the swinging maze that you just saw. That's an iconic one, a spike trap, the tar trap, uh, the wall blade. These are these are uh, the, the grinder, yeah. Some of these are are, are uh, the same ones that we had in, in since the beginning, arrow wall, uh, since the beginning of the Orcs Must Die franchise. Uh, and some of them are new, uh, like the bol the bowling boulder. As a matter of fact, all of these yellow cards are new because this all is in the, um, the big map uh, games, which is, let me go and look at that. It's these yellow ones here. Um, old friends solo. Is this the one? Is this it? This looks like it. Let me see. Um, war scenario. There is war scenario. Now there are other modes too, but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the war scenario after this because everything else is, and I'll just kind of actually just briefly show you this. Um, this is the, uh, the scramble basically it just provides you choose right now, right? So I say debuff adds armored org ogres to every wave and makes armored ogres stronger. So if I click on this, I'm choosing that one for this run. And then you go through one, two, three, four, five runs where they give you a choice each time. And then you can, you know, reroll or you can, um, you, you basically try to try to play all the way through with buffs, debuffs. So it's kind of a fun way to try to get through, but I would recommend that after you unlock a lot of stuff, because it's very difficult. It does get very difficult. I got to level three right after completing the campaign. I had a lot of stuff unlocked, uh, and I got shit on. <laughs> endless, is, as you would expect, endless, and there's weekly challenges. Uh, I wish it was a daily challenge, but I guess that's fine. Um, but yeah, weekly challenge. Oh, wait, is it weekly? Hold on a second. Is it? Hold on a second. Wait, wait. Or active, let's see. Oh, com oh, coming soon. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh wow, there's just this schedule all the way out. Let me see. Cool. So on this scenario, you will find that you have no war machines. Your loadout is full of damage traps, but they are all unupgraded. Find the right spot in the way. Wow, geez, they really go balls out for this, huh? Your health will be constantly draining, but killing enemies will randomly yield health potions. And there are leaderboards for this stuff too, by the way. Um, right here. We go full leaderboard, huh? Feel the drain. Status active. Friend global. Here we go. So yeah, look at this. So you can see all the people's scores on here. Um, find me on my zero dog. <laughs> I wonder if I have any kind of, I don't know if I have any, uh, anywhere. Let me see. Lava pits. I mean, I should have something on here. Let me just take a look here. Uh, full upgrade. Let's see. Uh, friends. Oh, apprentice. Yeah, that's why. So let's go here. Players. See. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. As we have, please have uh -huh. Don has my little boots. Wait, where am I? What? What? Lava pits? Oh, I did lava pits already. Which one lava pits? Yeah, I did a lot of it. Um, what the fuck? Okay, maybe I didn't. War scenario? Split stairs? Uh, what the heck? How long am I playing on Apprentice for? <laughs> Hold on, did I do the whole... No, no, we changed it, man. My friend was hosting. It's gotta be him. There's something wrong here. No friend? No friend. What the fuck? Am I re did I really not? I thought for sure I did. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. I had to ask him when he changed it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, yeah, it is definitely, like, missing, because I'm not on here. Nope. Okay. 
No, okay. Well, okay, it just doesn't show me at all. Huh, I wonder why. I, oh, you know why? Because I played a campaign. I didn't play it. Okay, I got worried for a second. I was embarrassed myself on video. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut to me midway through a uh, war campaign so you guys see all the big shit. Let's go. Welcome to the war campaign. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. The levels here for this type of mode uh, are much bigger. Uh, there's not a lot of them, but they are, they're they're pretty satisfying. There's a tower one actually, uh, that I feel like is a little too difficult to do on my own. Um, well, you know, without some practice. And I don't feel like practicing. I just wanna get in some big, show you guys all the big stuff and then leave. Uh, but there's a huge tower. It goes all the way up. This is a huge castle. They go around the back. They beat down the door, and they make it into the room. And you could you could weave them all over the place if you want to. But we're playing on now, Prentice. <laughs> Listen, I just realized it. Okay, <laughs> I just realized again. Um, and you know it's fine because I'd be able to show you guys some of the finer things, right? So for example, you see I have a whole bunch of arches up there. Now each one is an individual archer. However, the entire thing is put down by just one archer. Um. I guess collective or whatever uh we could sell that so i have archers everywhere everywhere all the way down there all the way down there it's just it's just hell uh, these are tornado um uh, tornado plates they basically spawn a giant tornado and i have three of them they wreck uh i have a flipper here if they ever make it down here uh what i want to do though uh, just for more demonstration purposes in terms of like how these big guys lay out first we'll show you right it's a big flippy boy right there you can rotate them whichever direction you want but flip them over there make give them the easy way to to the uh uh to the nexus you know i actually had a thought last night while i was playing with my friend i was like i wonder if there's anybody who speed runs actually clearing the nexus of its health uh by using flips and pushes to actually aid their uh their their intruders there's got to be a speed run for that anyways uh so uh, I also have burning traps. This is typically, typically this is a uh, a snow trap, but I've uh, respect it uh, because orcs are very susceptible to heat uh, or to to fire. Um, ogres are are also susceptible to fire and frost, and also they are uh, and obviously immune to or not immune, but um, physical doesn't do much for headshots. Uh, armored orcs, which you haven't seen any yet, uh, those guys are susceptible to lightning because wearing armor. So there's lots of synergy there. Like I mentioned the synergy in the uh, uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is just to show you guys what we can build gonna put this boy right up here go right there hmm. then we're gonna take this guy up These here might have been used for earlier. Yeah, earlier oh yeah he says that every time you put it down i think it's something to do with the campaign but it's annoying um we'll rotate these i think it's fine i don't care i don't think they care which way and look and we built our own tower hey isn't that cool and it will not get attacked it goes basically un ignored i believe i can actually put things on the wall right here too if i wanted to just kind of push people away um Pretty neat, huh? Let's go ahead and actually bring it out. Let's get it. Bring out the boys. Let's More go. Keep an eye. I also unlocked uh, um, some weapons. I forgot to mention that, by the way. Uh, you can choose whatever weapon you want. I, I only use this hero, um, but uh, uh, you can you can buy, unlock any weapon you want, and then bring it out and you know start hacking and slashing. So this is another hero's default weapon here. Uh, I'm actually looking for. Let's go and freeze these guys here, and then go back. I should have put that in my bar a little bit, uh, make it a little bit easier for myself. Uh, you cannot rebind the movement keys, by the way. So if you're a lefty and you're constantly rebinding keys, you're gonna be upset with this one. Um, just, just FYI. I know that's a killer for some folks. Reset, reset, and lean back. They say this. This is so annoying. Uh huh. Let's go ahead. And let's uh, let's flip around a little bit for fun. Can't have too many of those. I guess I can. Let me see. Let's put. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Boom. There you go. Light them up. No, there it is. This guy's gonna pick up by that. <laughs> I mean, this, this apprentice mode makes it super easy. Uh, they do move hella slow, um, but at least we get to see all the trap, how the traps work and everything. I have to go through and play it again now uh, in order to get my score on the leaderboard, man. I didn't realize it didn't register unless it was uh, unless it was run outside of the campaign, I guess, or something. None of my scores are up. You know. Oop, nope. Yeah, those little guys, little kobolds, super fast. Isn't this cool though? Like, like I said, the game the game is not much different from the original, except for you get a couple new traps. Um, you get a couple. I'm just putting these things all over the place because, like, I'm just I'm just tearing these guys up. These poor bastards. It's gonna be just hell here. It's gonna be amazing. No. <laughs> oh man, there's a couple guys over here somewhere. Oh, never mind. They're dead. Something's gonna get them. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this troll. He regenerates health. 
<laughs> normally. Normally. There he goes. Unleash the next one. We don't really have much money. For a flipper of the year. Let's, let's flip him. Should we see if we can flip him up there? That'd be kind of fun. Uh, do we get the uh, bus? Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Uh, so we do get... Um, what the heck? Hold on a second. I thought I turned off that stuff. Sound. Uh, close casualty scenario dialogue. No. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I guess he's going to talk anyways. Let's, well, I can't turn it off because you wouldn't hear the guy frantically say, Somebody's going to do a barricade. Fine. Fine. Stupid indeed. Okay. Anyway, so there are... Reset. There are... There he is right there. There are hero class units that come through now. I don't believe this was a thing in Orcs was like, uh, too. Um, but they... Well, this guy's going to get screwed. But they have special abilities or they're much stronger or something. Um, you get the same graphic... Uh, for whenever you kill them uh, versus when they show up, which is a little confusing for us because we were like, oh my god, there's another one, and we're looking a little place for another one. They show up as a star on the map, so you can see there's none here. Uh, let's go and throw another one. I just throw, throw uh, up at this here, up at this here. This is way five, so you can basically do whatever we want. Oh, look at all these guys. Look at all these guys. So many. Give me a headshot. Give me a headshot. Give me a headshot. Oh, one more. There you go. Let's see, what else do we have here? What else can we throw down? Um, let's just put this tower here, I guess, or somewhere. Let me see. Can I squeeze it in somewhere for fun? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so much shit. Oh, let's follow this guy's journey. Come on, man, you can make... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let him go through, actually. Wee Bloop. <laughs> Oh, 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 snap! Oh, we made it! Oh, oh, it was so close. Oh, God, something would have got you, bud. How about this little guy? Oh, 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 is he gonna make it all the way across that thing? Oh, nope. Oh, wow, wow. That was nasty. Let's go ahead and just clear all this up. We're done. We're done. Go, 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 go. And here's the thing, uh, you know, even though I'm playing on the easy mode, I'll still get skulls for this, which in turn I could, I could, I can uh, spend that on more upgrades to make my other play mode, um, you know, we did it. a little bit easier. <laughs> when I go back to War Mage, I think I'll get like probably four, five, maybe five, five bonus. I think you get like ten bonus when you play on War Mage. So you just get them. Oh, and here you go. It's eight. Okay, eight. Um, I'm fairly certain you get more if you play it on uh, on War Mage. So you could go through and grind them all up. So front lawn, five hundred two thousand eighty six. I go to stats. You can see, you know, all the all the work that's been done. Um, so if you're one of those kind of guys, want to go through and see, hey, what's the highest combo? What's uh, untouchable? What's uh, all this stuff? So you can go through and get uh, get your scores. Uh, let me see. Uh, we could go to continue. No, actually, uh, I don't want to continue because that took me right into the game. Well, I'll go continue and see what it does. It should take me out of the game and back into the main menu. Oh, it just funnels me right in. How oh, funny. Okay, I thought it'd take me out to uh, uh, to this. Um, but yeah, so that is that is Orcs Must Die three. Um, there's a second campaign, by the way, that we just unlocked. I've not played it. It's only five levels, uh, but it introduces the flying guys. So that's gonna be uh, just a fucking nightmare. Let me see what that looks like. Uh, it looks like a fucking nightmare, so... <laughs> I'm sure this is a huge level. Um, so, yeah. I mean, this is... You know, I, I, lo I love the game, and, you know, like, right at the beginning, I told you guys, it's like, hey, you know, go buy Orcs Die 1 and 2, because you get it for cheaper than 3. Uh, and I think that's true. Actually, let, me go, let me triple check the, the price on this one. I think this one is twenty yeah, twenty nine ninety nine uh, on Steam, so... You know, uh, this is something that if you want to pick up uh, on sale or something like that, it's, it's slam dunk. Absolute slam dunk. Uh, the co-op and the multiplayer, I had no problems with that when I was playing last night. No DC issues or anything. Um, uh, and so, yeah, just overall. Overall, it's a good game. You know, it's a good game. It doesn't really improve too much on the second one. Uh, uh, and the second one was, you know, uh, um, a little bit of, of an improvement over the first one. Um, but all three games, this entire franchise is just, um, I mean, near and dear to my heart. I really do enjoy this one. So, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Hope you guys have a good one. I will see you later.